Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today it seems like we've had some very interesting news for Global. Uh, there appears to be some new units and a whole lot of controversy and issues around the uh, event as well. So we're going to break it down. So this is the Super Saiyan 3 category page. We got a random data download, a really quick one, uh, whilst in the middle of playing just after the events rolled over today. A lot of us assumed it would be the Awakenings being put into the game for these two, Goku and Vegeta, who I discussed in my team video breakdown with Omnitoast. Make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it. But these were added into the files and appeared on DBZ Space. Shout out to my boy Why Try. Uh, he was the first person I saw uh, that tweeted out about it. And then obviously other people started noticing other things so we saw them in the files which was one thing so let's have a quick look at them so this is the tech gt super saiyan 3 vegeta uh the art is pretty awesome i think i really like the gt uh super saiyan 3 vegeta anyway the original one has really good art i prefer the uh i prefer this costume to the like all-in-one blue thing with the super saiyan 3 i think it looks cool so his leader skill he's a mini super saiyan 3 category leader so tech, uh, he also does tech types. So it's Super Saiyan 3 category and tech types. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense 50%. Not bad. Uh, that actually makes him better than the free to play AGL Super Saiyan 3 Bardock if you didn't pull the int one. So that's not bad. Uh, his super attack is the Gallic Gun. Does supreme damage to the enemy. Raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. So he's similar to the Awakening to the strength one. In the sense that he buffs his defense with his super attack. But his passive is yearning for strong foes, attack and defense plus 70%, which is pretty decent, plus an additional attack plus 60% for 5 turns after being attacked. So he is going to be pretty decent. You can put him in the, say, the first slot, get off a super attack, which boosts up his defense, and then when he takes attacks for 5 turns after that, he's getting an additional attack boost. So that is actually pretty good. Uh, the only bad thing when it comes to his links, unfortunately, just like the other Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta, he doesn't have over in a flash. Uh, he has Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage and GT as his key links, which means that his best link partner on the Super Saiyan 3 team is going to be one of the two uh, Super Saiyan 3 kid GT Gokus. Uh, it's a bit of a shame he doesn't have over in a flash. It really holds him back as being a top choice for the team because his passive does make him quite interesting so he would be fun to use on the team um of course you just gotta be aware there is that link issue so the other one that we got which i flashed to briefly was this physical so normal super saiyan 3 vegeta not gt i say normal <laughs> so he is a physical super saiyan 3 vegeta he has the same leader skill but physical types instead of tech so either one is a good stand-in for bardock uh, his super attack is called Gallic Shooting, so I'm interested to see, I assume that's going to be a unique uh, super attack animation, because it's uh, the other one is actually called Gallic Gun, and um, I have seen the clip of his super attack, and it is, um, a new, it is a new animation, but it is basically the Gallic Gun, uh, it's just fired from an upward, like, uh, he's up in the air and he fires it diagonally downwards. But this is called Gallic Shooting, so no idea what that is. Be uh, interested to see what that looks like. Uh, supreme damage again and raises attack for six turns, so gives himself an attack boost, which is very nice. Um, his passive, Super Sense 3 Strength, so attack and defense plus 70% again. Damage received minus 40% when guard is active, so that's pretty cool. So against intelligence types, he is a tank. So... That's actually pretty good. Um, it could be interesting as a pick for Super Battle Road, especially because he'll get those Super Saiyan 3 links with Gotenks. Although, unfortunately, it looks like just like the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the one we already had in the game, the non-GT, uh, he also got shafted and doesn't have over in a flash. And, of course, he also doesn't have GT because he's not the GT one, so he's only got two key links. Oof. So... I like his abilities, um, he seems like he'd definitely be interesting on a physical team or on the Super Saiyan 3 team against an intelligence event, but his links definitely hurt him, so he requires uh, 
some support, which of course there's no key support units on the Super Saiyan 3 category, so that is uh, that is a little bit of a shame. But so the big issue around these guys at the moment is after the Zeta download, a lot of people noticed, and I saw it coming up on Twitter, that they'd been given this Tech Vegeta in their box. Um, I think everyone that got him got two copies of him at Super Attack 10. So that is, that is a huge mess up. And obviously not everybody got it. So a lot of people who are salty who didn't get it. Um, in the past when this kind of thing has happened, a lot of people are discussing what they think is going to be the outcome. It's very unlikely that they're going to take the unit away from the people who got him. Especially because you can imagine a lot of people that were given him have probably put orbs into him already. Um, and they might have even fed the second one into the bottom right, filled out his bottom right path. I mean, that's what I probably would have done if I'd been given them. Um, so they can't just take them away from the people that already have them, because the whole process of trying to work out things like orb refunds, because if they just took them and people had put orbs into them, that would cause even more of a nightmare for them. So it seems more likely that what's going to happen is everyone is now just going to be given them. Um, I tried to get the friend code. Uh, a big shout out to Carmen on Twitter. Um, he added me as a friend and set the Tech Vegeta as his leader. And I was going to jump into Boss Rush with my Super Saiyan 3 team and try and get out a showcase for this guy uh, as soon as possible. Get ahead of the curve and show him off before everybody else. But unfortunately, just as I did that, the game went into maintenance. And the game is now in maintenance for another, I think it's like an hour and a half from when this video goes up. So hopefully, when it comes out of maintenance, this uh, we will actually see what they are going to do to resolve this. Because it shouldn't take too long. I think, like I said, if they've decided they're just going to give these copies out to everyone, hopefully that is what the maintenance is going to be for. And uh, we can do a showcase for this guy actually on the Super Saiyan 3 team under the double Bardock leaders. Because obviously, using him as a friend, he was only going to get that 50% buff. So it wouldn't be a true representation of what he can do on the team. So now we just got to hang tight and see what happens when the maintenance is over. But it is very great to see these guys being added. They are global exclusives for now. There is no information whatsoever about them being in the files for JP. Um... It seems very much like they could be our replacements for Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, who are from the Dragon Ball Heroes banner, so we'll probably never get them. That was another thing I discussed in my video of Omnitoast. So, um, they have similar abilities as well. Trunks has a guarding ability and is quite defensive, like the physical one, and Gohan is more of an offensive unit like the tech one. So, it's very likely that these guys are our global exclusive replacements. And maybe, who knows, in the future they could even get Awakenings. But all of that we will have to wait and see as uh, this is all brand new. So I guess we've got to wait now and see what happens after the maintenance. So I'll probably end up putting up another video later. Especially if we do get given out the copies of this guy. So we can show him off. So stay tuned for more information. That is going to be it for this video guys. This has been the Master Ningen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe for more regular Dokkan Battle content. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Master Ningen or join the Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.